All right, Dave, how are you, man? I'm good, good. Good to be here. Exciting night. Okay. You're on a roll right now. It's been a busy uh, few years, yeah. A lot of films. A lot of people I know, including Xena right now, know you. It's like you know a ton of people. Is that part of your success? Uh, it's definitely helped when uh, trying to shoot movies in a pandemic and saying, hey, you want to come shoot a movie while everybody's in lockdown? Yeah, we'll come with you, Dave. Sure, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what happened here. This was before the vaccine had come out. A bunch of buddies and myself said, let's go shoot a movie. We're tired of being stuck in the house. And we shot, we wanted to shoot outside where it was a little safer. We wanted to shoot really fast before anyone could get sick. And we were all really scared still about COVID. And um, so we shot Wolf Mountain in eight days, which is crazy, even for me. It was already crazy. Insane, eight days? Yeah, it helps when you're the producer, director, and, uh, and an actor in the film, and I could I can really crunch time because I'm just dealing with myself a lot of the time. And that's uh, how we got it done. We just worked really, really hard. And then a long post-production, because when you rush, the problem is you make mistakes, right? There's a Coke can or a something in the shot, and you got to find ways to get it out. And so I dealt with a lot of that. It was a long post-production. Um, but we're here finally, and the movie's out, and I can't wait for people to see it. The film wasn't cursed, but the Wolf Mountain, Wolf Mountain was. That's right. Uh, the curse of the curse of the Wolf Mountain. Uh, one thing I will tell you is the mountain is definitely cursed. Uh, Danny Trejo's here, which is exciting. Um, one of my favorite, iconic, from Machete to, I mean, I think he's been killed. More than any man in the history of film, by the way. I think that's a true record. And uh, does he get killed in The Curse of Wolf Mountain? We'll see. I don't know if that's a yeah, yeah, yeah. cliffhanger. No, don't, don't give it up. Don't give it up. <laughs> I don't know if that's a suspenseful thing, but maybe. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay, okay, cool. So how do you how do you get convinced Danny to be in the film? With well, money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Danny has been in a couple of films of mine now, and uh, I called his manager, Gloria. I said, Gloria, I need him. And uh, again, these were not the easiest times to grab people to work, but I said, it'll be outside. He'll have his trailer out there, and he'll never have to really go inside. And they were like, yeah, he's in. So, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So what are you working on next then after? Oh, Lord. Well, uh, let's see. So I directed this one. I'm, I have a movie called Murder at Hollow Creek that's coming soon that I also directed. I have a movie called Joe Baby with Harvey Keitel and Ron Perlman and Deshaun Lockman and Willa Fitzgerald, and that'll be coming out soon. I have a movie called Place of Bones. It's a Western with Heather Graham, Tom Hopper. That's going to come out soon. There's a lot of movies coming. Good and, job, man. Yeah. Okay. I want to be in one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good. And, uh, okay, so, well, good job on everything you've been doing, man. It's awesome. Thanks. And, you know, I really hope people get this one. A lot of the interviews I've done for, for horror buffs, horror geeks like me, they were like, we really love the dummy shot or, like, you know, the cheap stab thing. So I, I hope people get it, that this is not a well-polished film. This is a film that's a really a throwback to the 80s and 90s, to the Roger Corman films and things like that. Uh, and if you love those kinds of films and you buy into it, uh, you'll laugh and you'll have a good time with this one.